Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And of course, you know we gotta be in straight, hot, messy feel. Okay? It wouldn't be me if I didn't come with some mess on my channel. And who I'm talking about. Alright, but we're gonna roll the footage. We're gonna let y'all know who and what I'm talking about. Alright? Right now I'm talking about women that are out there doing the darn thing. Solidifying, cementing wealth for themselves and their family members. And Portia tried to secure the bag. She had two damn good jobs. But then her obsessiveness about being married, when she's already been married before, took precedence over everything. Everything and everybody. Okay? Because Portia had it good. She had it very good. Christian upbringing. I thought I knew. I guess she thought she knew what she wanted. She wanted to be in the entertainment field, because those are the people she kept hanging around. So it was obviously she was going to be a part of something in the entertainment business. I know she wanted to be a singer, but we all know, we all know that really wasn't meant to be. But Portia had an opportunity here when she was working on Dish Nation and the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She had a little cameo part in Sharknado. Okay, it's a sci-fi type of uh, film, a uh, short film. And she was part of that season five. And she just let it all go to the wayside. I mean, I knew it took a lot to learn lines. And to be able to put them out on cue. Uh, but it's something you could have aspired to. Something you could have worked your way up to doing. If you wanted it as bad as you say you wanted it. Just like you are very, very, very extremely obsessed with being married. And some man taking care of you. I don't know where that comes. I guess it comes from your upbringing. But today's women... Or trying to have it all. And if they can't have the marriage. They're going to damn sure get that career going. I mean you can take a look at Kenya Moore. Uh, she's doing a fabulous job. With her company. And companies I should say. And she's not putting everything for the negativity. And her assets. Meaning her beauty and all this other kind of stuff out there she has brains and we know Portia got brains but she don't want to use them she wants to let her beauty and her body speaks for her and I'm like girl well, why don't you just move to California go into the acting business and let you let them put you on a casting couch if you ain't already been there from messing with R. Kelly as you so readily put in your book all right but you had nice jobs you had a radio personality type job the only thing you had to do was talk about celebrities their comings and goings okay just like we do here at the house you had one job to do and that's it it was a fun job but quiet as it kept lies don't speak it out the street's been saying, you lazy, Portia. You don't want to get up and do anything. You just want to play dress up and party. That's what I heard now. That is what I heard. And it may not be too far from the truth. Because ever since you met Mr. Simon, go bother you. You don't quit all your jobs. Only thing you had going for you is a little adver advertisement here and there. Uh, and, um, that's pretty much it. Your, cl uh, book didn't do too well at all. The sheets ain't doing well. And you're still chasing after a man that could have married you already. But for some reason, y'all are waiting. Now, why couldn't you just turn your lemons into lemonade and still put yourself out there to definitely get your own money? Have your own money. Have something. Or be a Sabbath business entrepreneur. 
think some products that haven't been developed yet and you could have definitely solidified yourself in another field even if it was cosmetics i mean candy did it several other people have done it uh get your clothing line something but you just want to put yourself out there and be kept and that was a piss poor way of doing things you know your mama had to work because your daddy was out there being a home trying to take care of the whole neighborhood all right in a sexual way allegedly but it's <laughs> your book speaks for itself you even told us your daddy was a whole pimp whatever however you want to see it he was no good because your mama got tired of his philandering ways his cheating ways his no good dog ways okay back in the day and she had to let him go she had to get up off her own butt and make it do what it do and she uh, went and put herself into business where she cared for kids now we're not gonna hash all that other negativity that literally made her have to leave what she founded it just is what it is things happen shit happens you go through it, you deal with it and you move on but your whole obsession about being a billionaire's millionaire's wife it has just run itself it has just run its course it's dry we tired of talking about it because we don't want to see you like that we want to see you doing things you making your own bed to lie in okay something for the positive but you keep repping nigeria jamaica i think that's jamaica but you keep uh repping other people thinking they're going to take care of you when you should be taking care of yourself you're a grown-ass woman with a child anything happened to dennis anything happened to simon what the hell are you gonna do what are you gonna do Portia? what's your backup plan what's your plan b c d e f g h i j k k l m n o p what is your backup plan if it doesn't work out with simon okay you have no jobs you're selling your sheets or whatnot and um your book it's not selling it's not let's not even mention the book anymore okay and it's questionable whether you will get back on the real housewives of atlanta because is scale lies on speaking out candace said they need y'all all right but you should be making moves because you were doing better than what candy was doing because she was really being idle on the show you know bone collector then she's still doing her outside jobs which is producing music and and writing songs for other artists and this that and the third but she don't creep up past you surpass you by the millions okay because you want to fall off and try to get this man to marry you and constantly calling yourself mrs Gabadia when only mrs Gabadia we know is his mother okay that's 80 something years old that's back in nigeria that I don't think you got a chance to visit or you would have put that on your Instagram account. So, see, she didn't even want to see you when Simon had took that trip over there. Okay? That impromptu trip. Well, maybe the mama know he was coming. And he just recently told you prior to him getting on the flight. Okay? But you want that Hollywood life. You really do. But Candace solidified it before you. And the main reason is she has her two aunts and her mother. And they are hilarious on point. Yes, Candy Burris is out there hosting the Ellen show. Ellen don't care too much about her show anymore. She's just trying to wait till it wound, uh, winds itself down. So in and everybody's coming out hosting her show. Kind of sort of like the Whitney Williams show. You know? But from what I understand, Cap Candy did a marvelous, fantastic job with hosting. All right? And it was one in particular person in her dms that was wishing her well too and we're gonna show it to you we're gonna show and prove because that's what we do we cite our sources and we definitely try to show and prove for the haters that want to come over here and say oh my gosh why are you still talking about her you want to be her child please okay tell your folks stay off my own um, my youtube channel unless they're gonna come and give some commentary on subject matter and not us all right but yeah can over them flossing showing and proving you know they canceling or have canceled her show but she's you know winding down her contract it'll be over before we know it but candy birds has definitely 
taking the opportunity that I'm sure Don Juan had worked out for her because it's probably something she wanted to do. And I think Candy really, truly wants to be a host of a television show. And I could see her doing it because she's making those kind of moves. All right. She was host on The Real a few times. And um, I don't know if she's been on The View or not. But while you're sitting up there in your dreamland, Candy's out there making it happen. Okay, she's out there making it happen. I ain't going to say she had a best husband, but she definitely has been uh, solidified with him for eight years. Portia, your first marriage didn't even last long. Your second marriage that you were trying to get with Dennis, the only thing you got out of it was a baby. Okay, that both of y'all going to have to take care of him. But you trying to throw him under the bus. Come on, he don't pay child support. What do you need to pay child support for if he's doing what he needs to do? And the reason why I copied this the way I wanted y'all to see, look who's on the her DMs. Work, win, and celebrate. Isn't that uh, familiar? Well, yeah, hell yeah, it should be familiar because that's Dennis McKinley. That's his MO. He is wishing Candy Burris. Okay? Candy Burris. The one that tried to tell you about Dennis. All right? She didn't say Dennis was a bad person. She just said he was sowing his oaks. A lot more. And, you know, more so than ever. And he don't have no time slowing down. But he's a nice guy. And so you didn't take that to heart at all. You just want to say, ooh, he got this. Ooh, he got that. And your legs just uh, spread wide until it was all the way open. Okay? For him to penetrate. Because you saw so much wealth in him. And <laughs> you forgot about he had a mama that was in business with him also. And she wasn't playing that shit. She said, get a prenup. If the lady is for real about you and she love you, she'll sign the prenup. And then maybe I can negotiate it after y'all been some years together. But, yeah, mom had to tell her son. And thank God he listened. Why don't you listen, Portia? Why don't you listen? But, yeah, Candy's over there doing the darn thing. Hosting with Lena Waithe, Jacob Lattimore. And even had her friend. Remember uh, the Three Musketeers? She even had Cynthia on the show. And you tell me who she putting out and who she putting on. Y'all better stop sleeping on Candy. But Candy don't got new friends. The illuminating friends, all right? And you're going to be seeing a lot more of her. And I know that's going to make Nene sick. Because she never got asked to host the Ellen DeGeneres show. I know everybody has pretty much been on the real. Because they don't have anybody over there. And everybody. But it's just the fact that Candy is looking good. And she's feeling good. And the audience definitely loves her. She's a recognizable um, homegrown statement out there in the public. Alright. She's a household name. Whether you like or love her, you got to respect her grind. You got to respect her grind. And she ain't waiting on Todd to uh, be with her all the time. If he can't make it, she going to go make it do what it do. She still got down one to navigate the waters for her. And Todd, no, he going to be right there trying to see what opportunity he can have alongside his wife. And that's why he ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. You hear me? But Simon just sitting up here on posing for pictures and uh doing whatever he can do on his social media which i really don't think he runs it with the posts and stuff for should probably help him out with that but the girl is doing her thing and we have to salute her but you could have been doing the same thing can they wait for no man to take care of her she definitely didn't marry no millionaire okay but she's a millionaire now and the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta has definitely helped her become that millionaire. Because I don't think Candy was a millionaire, millionaire before she got on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She wasn't destitute and she wasn't poor. We ain't going to put her in that category. I think she was more so in the middle class. But once she sat on that uh, platform and she showed and proved herself. And she uh, probably saw she was a good person they can deal with and elevate. And she stuck to her guns and she played the part of how she was supposed to play it and now she's where she's at she's probably the highest paid of the real housewives of atlanta i'm sure okay 
and it really wasn't even her baby. <laughs> she wasn't even trying to claim it. But she did say for the haters that kept saying, well, Candy don't need Real Housewives of Atlanta. She been rich. She did. She that Hell, Candy told y'all up front, and it was out of her mouth. She is going to stay with Bravo as long as they have her. Because she definitely knows that has set her up. For other projects that she can definitely use the money that she's making on the show to, you know, give opportunities to other people, bring people up, and definitely solidify herself in other revenue streams as well. So, yes, Candace, this platform, Real Housewives of Atlanta, I had told y'all way long ago, that woman ain't letting that check go. That's too, e too much of easy money. Okay, because it's hard being an entrepreneur out there. It's hard. So they were trying to think of music to write and who to sell her um, song she wrote to. Okay? She don't have time because, hey, did nobody come knocking at her door on the shot before she got on Real Housewives of Atlanta? Did nobody come knocking at her door to be on Big Brother before she was known on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we can go on and on and on. But the point still remains. How can Candy Burris go out there and do the darn thing? And Portia was ahead of her at one time in a sense. Because she was more likable. Uh, the camera was favoring her. The different shows out the season out the season. People were really gravitating to Portia. And they liked her because she was fun-filled. She was uh, a supporter of everybody's at the time. Until she started trying to play favorites. When, um, uh, what's her name? Um, the whole Phaedra Parks came in, in, in into play. Okay, she's had a little tiff and tail with uh, Kenya. But Kenya was doing a lot of foul things too with all those props. But uh, I, I blame Andy Cohen because he could have just really uh, took those props from Kenya and said, okay, y'all need to go at it with your mouth if you want to. But y'all ain't going to have all this other shit going on, okay? Or Portia could have opened up her mouth and said, you know, if you want me to continue to be on this show, doing this interview, you're going to have to take those props from Kenya because I am getting up mad. I'm getting mad. I'm getting upset. And I can't say what I would do to her physically if she don't stop this foolishness. And then they would have recognized and saw it was kind of a, you know, soft threat that Kenya was, you know, badgering her with the microphone, well, the megaphone and the, the scepter pointing and all that. But nobody wanted to say or do anything. They didn't want to open their mouths. And then that's how we got to the snatching of Kenya's hair. And Portia having to have to go to anger management. But that's neither here nor there. It was good entertainment at the time. But putting your hands on people is not a good deal. That's an assault charge. All right. And people ain't got time to go to jail. And spend all this wasted money trying to bail yourself out. When you could have put it on something. Some accessory or some bill or whatever. You know. This is what it is. But um, yeah. I was basically trying to show and prove how Portia took the wrong role yet again. She want a man to take care of her. She wants to be a missus. And that's all. You know, and kids and family is secondary. Because she just want to enjoy her life. She want to live her life. She wants the socialite scene. Okay? And when it's time to bring in the family, then she wants to dress up uh, PJ and blast her everywhere. And get Simon in the photos. And get her mom in the photos. And anybody else she can get in the photos. To make like she's living her best life. When she's not. Portia's miserable as hell. Because she wants to be attached to a man. And until she figures out. That she was born in this world. Without a man. She gonna damn go out of this world. By herself. Without a man. And in between. That's living. She needs to make sure. She's doing what's right for herself. And her daughter. The man is secondary. Especially a man that hadn't even put a wedding band and said he wanted you to be his missus. Okay, he's slowing his ass around, not doing what he need to do, but sexing you and, and flaunting you around like a trophy piece. So that's what you have at this point. You've had for a year. So why should you expect more from him if he's liking the ideal living situation as it stands? Okay, and did you ever get your name on that house deed? Or is Simon playing you like a Cordell chess piece? 
okay? Because you don't check make your ass out. I don't know how many times, okay? And we're really tired of looking at it. We're really tired of you still saying, I want to marry this man. Girl. But anyway, that's all I had to, for this video. I just wanted to show Portia once again on the other video what a family looks like. Enjoying themselves. Blended and as well. And what it looks like a woman trying to get her own money have her own things set aside from her boyfriend fiance who is however you want to see it so Kenny was a good representation for both of them and Kenya Moore I didn't add her but she's a definitely good representation as well get your own money have your own life that's separate from your husband or your boyfriend so you'll know who you are so you won't get lost when you're with him thinking you're in his shadow no you're his equal okay and you want him to walk beside you not behind you or in front of you but beside you and that's not the respect that you get from where you messing with father time over there okay and how he treated your ass when you brought yourself uninvited okay to Legos trying to hang out with him and his crew and davido you know davido you remember him the billionaire heir to the throne to his dad you would think simon would be over there talking to his dad but he messing with the child i don't understand him and don't understand portia but with these videos coming and going as they do maybe she would take a clue a hint somebody would buy her a clue or a hint to say baby you getting too old to be going down this road thinking you need a man to take care of you i don't understand it's too many successful women out there oprah Winfrey is one of them she hit the grind been in the grind and now she's doing her time where she's sitting there relaxing enjoying herself if she wants to do an interview she do an interview if she don't she don't you don't see her running to the uh altar and Tina Turner did the same thing. You didn't see her running to the altar. Man, I think she just married the man maybe a year ago. Made it legal. But all that other time when she was running footloose and fancy free, had her good health to have her, uh, she was uh, just living with the man single. Same thing with Oprah. Same thing with Gail King. They're very solidified women out there. Making their journalistic in, uh, integrity be um, full forward. But they ain't married. You don't see them going around here. I got to be married. I got to be married. I got to be married. And they have never been married. Well, I don't know about Gail King. She might have been married before. But Oprah, we know. <sighs> the mega female mogul. She ain't never been married. And it may be some psychological reasons of why she don't feel she need to be married but she lived she, she, she solidified herself with her income Portia quit out her job and leading on to a man's understanding or that he's gonna marry her promise to marry her one day and then one day may never come but stupid is as stupid does but that's all I have for this interview uh, I'm finna say interview Lord that's what I had for this video. If y'all like love, gotta have more, make sure you definitely subscribe to the channel and share and like my videos. Okay, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.